Okay, really quick video on how to do the annotation. So I'm using an article from a previous semester. I've, um, you're welcome. I took this one out of your reading um, assignments. Anyway, um, so talking about annotations, if you look on uh, section A1, and that is for next week, and I, so we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves, but really by this time you should know what annotation means, and it means to literally engage with the text, to mark it up, and so you can use a variety of circles and highlights, but the key to annotations is that you are making notes in the margins and you are engaging with the text. So I have this article here called Writing as a Mode of Learning by Janet Emig, and this is what a traditional annotation would look like. Well, because um, I, ha I am not going to require that everybody has a scanner, printer, scanner, and all that for this class, also I need a, a, a basic way to grade you on this, we can't do the annotations this way. So here's what I recommend. I do recommend that if you can, you print your articles and you mark them up because it's going to help you when it comes time for the annotation activity. Um, but in order to get a grade, um, I need you to complete the this particular annotated activity. So what you'll do is you will um, mark up your work traditionally if you can. And then uh, select at least one annotation per page. Now, I'm not going to read this for you. You can look over this um, as far as the instructions go. Uh, but I just wanted to show you what I'm looking for. So I, one of these annotations, I'll show you. Let's see. And always use the PDF page number. Okay, so I've selected uh, an entry from page 126 and I'm focusing right here. This is an original annotation. This is what I did when I read it the first time. And I highlighted here, clear writing by definition is that writing which signals without ambiguity the nature of conceptual relationships, whether they be coordinate, subordinate, superordinate, causal, or something other. I wrote on the side, must provide evidence, must show relation. And I also um, have connected to the fact that um, in the article we have just talked about We've gone from talking and listening to talking about the beautiful uh, visual product that writing is. Okay, so I'm, gonna, I'm making these connections, and here I just point out page 126. You're going to use the PDF page when available. Evie points out that clear writing dot 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 is that writing which signals without ambiguity the nature of conceptual relationships. So I am making sure I put quotes around her actual words and then any words I left leave out I use the ellipses and then I'm just going to make my comment on it so this is really what an annotation is is your comment here Emig is showing how the structure of the written word supports the author's meaning or intention the reader can see how various topics relate to one another as opposed to listening talking when the visual element is missing and therefore some meaning is lost or harder to come by. Okay, so that is just my take on that particular point. It stood out to me, and that is what I'm looking for with, with your annotations. Um, these are examples of, of things that you may include. I will say this, five, six, and seven, probably you're not gonna really see that in this particular course. We use the same annotation activity for literature courses as well. Um, you're probably going to stick in these first four here, give an opinion, ask a question, make a connection, and identify a significant passage. I think that here is just a significant passage is my take on that particular point. So that's how I want you to do your annotations. One annotation, and this is, I mean this, one line, per page of text. Um, and if we don't have page numbers, then I explain how to do that, okay? So I hope this helps with your annotation activity. Thanks.